Hello! Welcome to the next section of my KonMari method, I guess my next edition, next video in the series, whatever the correct term would be, for my uh, KonMari method videos. I've moved on now to the household supplies, which are basically the disposable things that you use around the house, so cleaning supplies and uh, that sort of stuff. So I started here, I went ahead and got out all of my laundry stuff. Um, I'm going to do that b quickly now and then uh, we'll move into the cleaning supplies part. Uh, as, and also I'll do the paper goods now because that's all in here in the laundry room. So I make my own from stuff for most of my products. So there you can see my laundry. Um, that's all of my laundry detergent that I use. I used to have a diaper detergent as well um, that I made, but now that my youngest, my one-year-old, is now potty trained, so we don't need to wash diapers anymore, so it's just the laundry. So in here, in this little um, storage basket, I have all of the supplies that I use to make my different detergents. So I've got an extra box of borax, as well as a jar of borax, a jar of washing soda, um, I have the OxyClean Free that I used for the diaper detergent, and then I'm just going to use in journal now, as well as a big old thing of generic, it's the Sun brand oxygen cleaner um, that I use in the normal laundry, and now I'm going to use both of them. So that's in a big wire basket up on a shelf in the laundry room um, because I only need it when I'm mixing up my new detergent. So I'll show where that goes in just a second. But first I want to show I also have some Dawn that I used. I used it mostly when I was stripping diapers. Um, but if I have a greasy mess in the laundry room, then I can put some Dawn in there. I also have some Shout Advanced Stain, a set and stain cleaner. Uh, honestly, I'm not even sure if it's still good anymore. I believe that I was given it in college uh, when I went off to college, but I don't use stain remover that much because I just don't care that much if they're stains. Um, obviously, if they're things that are obvious, then I'll take care of them, but as kids' clothes, they're made to get dirty, so I don't spot trace treat every single bit. I do also have some whisk that I got for free in my couponing days, um, and I use this Basically, just if someone is sick, like if uh, someone has a stomach virus, I trust my laundry detergent for basically everything, but I want something a little bit more, um, possibly a little bit more cleaning power when uh, there's a stomach virus going around. So that just hangs out uh, over in my laundry room for that purpose. Uh, up here, I have all of our paper goods, our excess paper goods, as well as that basket, you can see the gap where the, uh, where the detergent supplies basket goes. That basket has all of um, my soap making supplies. So my lye and all of the tools that I use for soap making are in there. And then next to that you can just see I have extra air filters because I replace them every three months. So sometimes I buy a two pack and keep the extras. They go on top of the baskets. Over here are our paper goods, um, as well as a big old box of vinegar that I use to make my cleaner, my all-purpose cleaner. Um, but I keep the big bottle up there and then a smaller bottle in our pantry because I use it for all sorts of things. So I have six rolls of paper towels. We just started using paper towels again because um, I had for the past three years we've been using cloth paper towels that I made that my husband absolutely hates. He thought it was stupid because the point of paper towels is to be able to throw them away. So he finally prevailed in buying paper towels again. So we have six rolls. They're stopped up top too because we also have six rolls right there of toilet paper. We also have toilet paper in all of the bathrooms, but this is just our excess that's not in the bathroom anywhere. And two extra boxes of um, Kleenex. So we buy all of our paper supplies like that at BJ's, but we don't stock up much beyond that. So all of that is going to stay. I'm not purging any of those paper goods or any of this laundry supplies because I love everything that I'm using and I don't see a point in getting rid of it and I don't have way too much excess. Um, so let's move on now to the cleaning supplies. Okay, so here are all of the cleaning products I gathered from all around the house. As you can see, we don't have that much in the way of cleaning products. Here's my dishwasher detergent that I make myself. It's just in a honey jar because I know exactly what it is, so I don't need a special label. Um, we have my cleaning solution that I make. It's one part water to one part vinegar and then several drops of Thieves uh, essential oil for disinfecting properties. We've got uh, this I got to use as a dust remover. Um, it's for like a keyboard, but I don't know if I've ever actually used it, so I'm not sure about that one. This is the Ceramabrite that the previous owners left us for our cooktop. A little jar or a little bottle, a spray bottle of vinegar and water mixed together. 
um, that I use just having the kitchen just so I can just grab it quickly if some meat gets on the counter. A thing of uh, store brand Windex that uh, I have on hand just in case anytime uh, my usual cleaning thing doesn't do it. I use this for uh, windows and mirrors and everything but we still keep this around especially for outdoor things. I have several things of the Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser, mostly of the bath scrubber. My mom got these when I was pregnant with my oldest because she came over. I was on bed rest. Uh, they came up because they live uh, several hours away and she did a bunch of cleaning for me uh, since I couldn't and so that's a lot of these are left over from that. I have a few more of the Swiffer Duster refills and then several Swiffer Sweeper refills and a few of the Wet Mop refills. Um, since we don't have that much and all of this stuff gets used, at least on occasion, I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm not really going to get rid of much of anything. The only thing would be um, this one is already, it's kind of beat up and we've got so many of them that I might as well keep the ones that are good. Um, so those, those, and I'm going to see if my husband has any use for this because I really don't in my cleaning. And if not, then we'll get rid of that as well. So there we go. That is pretty much all of the household supplies gone through. Again, we really just don't have that much. We don't keep much on hand as far as, um, as paper products and, uh, and cleaning supplies. We basically just keep what we use or what I make, and that's it. So this was probably a fairly boring one, but we're moving on next to the kitchen. So stay tuned because that hopefully will be a bit more interesting. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, I'd love for you to subscribe if you want to keep seeing more of uh, KonMari videos, planner videos, all sorts of organization and things like that. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.